bookstore in Savannah. It was very well attended. There was nearly as many people there as there are here. And it was all based upon a book that Charlie Seaborn, uh, author that many of you know, he wrote a book recently about the salt marsh, the coastal salt marshes. And in this book, he points out that, by the way, he was a member of the board of the Center for Sandal Coast for years and years, too. And he was also the Atlanta Journal-Constitution uh, chief reporter for environmental issues. Anyway, this book, he pointed out that the biggest threat to the coast of Georgia is, in the final analysis, sea rise. All the other things that we've been working to, to resist and to correct, there are big problems that need to be dealt with, but if you don't deal with sea rise, then all the rest of the problems become relatively on the back burner. So what do you do about sea rise? Well, there's a million things you can do about sea rise to mitigate, to try to prevent the damage from being any worse than it has to be. But the main thing you have to do is to stop the global warming. You've got to stop putting carbon in the atmosphere. Just in the last few days, they've come out and they've come up with studies that are very credible, saying that the sea rise rate is not only very, very bad, like they were predicting, the actual sea rise is coming in at 60% higher than what they predicted. This is this has been in the local, this has been in the paper, this is this is pretty much common knowledge now. And so people have got to get their minds around the fact that we're going to have to make big changes in our society. We can't keep doing things the same way we're going to do it. Between Sandy and this, this new information about sea rise, we know we've got to change things. Well, one thing we can do is we can convert as quickly as possible from carbon-based production of energy to non-carbon-based. We can really cut back on pumping carbon in the atmosphere. People say, well, that's going to be hard. And of course it's going to be hard. But this is this is an issue that is right up there with World War II and you know, this this is this is a huge, huge issue. And we've got to be willing to make the kind of efforts that we've made in the past to overcome huge obstacles. And and I think that I by the end of this session, and when you hear the speakers that are going to be speaking to you, I think you'll understand that in Georgia we are at the cusp. The way we've been doing things in the past are not the way we're going to be able to work things out in the future. And so one of the big things we've got to do is we've got to say Georgia is one of the biggest product producers of carbon emissions in the United States per capita. Why? Because we are very coal dependent and we burn a lot of natural gas. And we're going to have to convert the way we do business and we're going to have to do it fairly quickly. And we can do this quickly. And one, two big Two big opportunities are offshore wind and solar. And so I appreciate you listening to me. I hope you take what I've said into consideration. And I don't want you just to believe what I'm saying. But if there are people that disagree with what I'm saying, but they're unwilling to stand up and debate and openly discuss these issues, I think you should distrust them. That's, that's what I've got to say. And, and that's why the center is so important, because it is has been getting this other side of the story out for going on 20 years now. And uh, I think that that is a, a huge benefit, and I think that I hope, after you think about it, you all consider joining and supporting this difference. So thank you.